I am Sasha Varel, and welcome to the Killian Detention Center. Today I'd like to take a look at community servers. I think multiplayer servers are something that gets overlooked a lot when it comes to community spotlights, and I definitely want to rectify that by taking a look at uh, different servers from time to time and you know show people off of a lot of the uh, interesting things that people come up with and the communities that get built around them. This particular prison is the Killian Detention Center, which is a prison-themed server. The idea is you come in as an incarcerated prisoner, uh, maybe you were a prison for griefing, who knows, and you have to earn enough money to rank up through the prison's various ranks and eventually become free again. Now, this prison does have its own rules, uh, for example, not having swords, bows, that sort of thing. Now, that is a prison rule, not a server rule, it's worth noting. So, if, for example, if a guard catches you with a sword, uh, they will try and either take it from you or imprison you for it in solitary. But if you happen to be somewhere where the guards can't see and you attack another prisoner, well, that, <laughs> that happens. When you first come into the prison, you start as a C-block prisoner, which basically means you have very little uh, access to tools and resources. About the only thing you can mine is logs and cobble, iron, coal, that sort of thing. What you do is you take that stuff that you mine into the prison shop and sell it. Once you've sold enough, about $15,000 worth, you can rank up to the B rank, which is a nicer area of the prison with better resources. Uh, it's a little bit easier to make money. It's a little bit safer from player to player combat, that sort of thing. This here is solitary, where uh, the aforementioned prisoners that might be wielding swords uh, can get put. Generally, they won't be in here for more than about five minutes at a time. And the idea is that it's just, you know, okay, you had a sword, the guard caught you, you go in uh, a form of timeout is what it comes down to, but it's pretty cool. Uh, it's not happening right now, but it, it's usually a common sight for other prisoners to come by here and uh, try and moon them or taunt them in some way or other. It's uh, funny, but disturbing all at the same time. Now, the different areas of the prison that are PvP enabled are usually clearly marked with these red boundaries and signs. So you definitely know when you're about to get into an area where you can be attacked or attack others. Prisoners will attack each other for resources. They will attack each other uh, for money, uh, for any number of reasons. Sometimes just personal slights. You never can tell from one moment to the next. Uh, you can rent cells like this one. Uh, prisoners will usually do that because the areas are safe. They can use it for storage, uh, building, crafting, smelting, that sort of thing. This here is a guard. You can tell he's a guard because he's got chain mail and a diamond sword, which is something that only guards can get, the chain mail in particular. Uh, that way you can just easily distinguish them from the other prisoners who may be wearing armor, but not that kind of armor. Here is a shower, which curiously is not PvP enabled. You would think it'd be the one place in prison that it was. <laughs> Go figure. Over there is the tree farm. It's a place where you can gather wood, uh, logs especially, and sell them for money in the prison shop, which is over there. This is the sea mine, uh, where I mentioned the coal and cobble. Looks like it's getting stripped pretty hard today. And people will come down here and mine for a long time. It's not at all uncommon for prisoners to dig holes underneath each other and try and create sinkholes and traps. And then when the prisoner dies, you know, go collect whatever they drop. It's uh, kind of funny and aggravating all at the same time. There are little secret areas all over the prison like this one here that will go to uh, the prison black market, a place where pris prisoners can set up their own shops and sell uh, materials to other prisoners. Generally weapons and food, but not always. This here is the C-Block shop. It's a place where people can sell their cobble, their logs, uh, wooden planks, coal, whatever else they happen to mine up. This is basically where you make your money. It's very simple. You just come in here if you happen to have the materials and right-click on the appropriate sign and you get money. Once you've got enough money, you rank up and you can move to other areas of the prison. This out here is the courtyard. It's a place where prisoners can buy plots, uh, properties, and build things on them. Uh, they'll generally build homes, sometimes not, like this uh, swimming pool here. I will never understand why this house is pink, but who knows? Maybe that's just a preferred aesthetic for that builder. Uh, like this house is a pretty good example of uh, what they'll usually do with it. They'll typically include storage, crafting. Uh, yeah, the same thing as in the prison, but much safer. People can't come in there and take their stuff uh, or kill them. And this over here is the elite block, one of the ranks you could rank up to. And you can tell immediately that it's uh, visually much more pleasing. It's much safer. There's no PvP in here. Uh, the ability to acquire resources is much greater here. And it's generally just a better overall experience as you rank up. And that is the idea, that as you get a higher rank, uh, you do get more perks. It's uh, safer. You get better resources. You get just a better experience. The community is generally a little uh, more... 
uh, friendly for lack of a better word. I found that even when a prisoner finally gets the free rank where they can go outside the prison, quite often what they'll do, uh, since it is vanilla outside the prison walls, is they'll go out there and get resources that they can't get in here and bring them back inside and sell them to other prisoners. <laughs> Typically contraband, but not always. It's overall, it, it's funny. When I first looked into the prison server as a concept, I was a little, uh, a little hesitant, I think, because I wasn't too keen on the idea of being incarcerated. But I found that in playing with it for a while, it's, it's a surprisingly uh, rewarding experience, I think. You know, there's a very clear sense of progression. There's a very clear sense of risk and reward. Um, the community is surprisingly tightly knit. And you'll see just as much cooperation as you'll see infighting. Uh, the entire experience is um, definitely memorable. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it quite a bit. So if you want to check this particular prison server out, you can. It's the Killian Detention Center and is run by Mark Killian and Starzy, the two senior wardens here. Uh, really nice people. I like them a lot. Uh, I do happen to frequent this prison uh, from time to time. So if you want to drop by and uh, say hello to the senior wardens or myself, you can. Uh, so, you yeah, know, that's pretty cool. As an aside, I have taken note of uh, some of your comments about the introduction being uh, somewhat <laughs> lacking, I suppose you would say. So I've decided to turn that negative into a positive. What I would like to do is have the community create 15 second video segments of anything you want. As long as it looks good or it's interesting, I'll take it into consideration. Every week I will take one of these 15 second submissions and use it as the community spotlight introduction. So if you uh, have a 15 second clip you'd like me to use, or if you'd like to come up with one to send it to me, uh, you can definitely send it in PM, preferably to my email, which is available on the forums. And uh, if I happen to pick your particular submission, I'll definitely let you know, and I'll tell you which uh, entry, uh, which episode it's going into. And I think that'd be a much better use of that 15 seconds of time, to be honest. Uh, it's something that, again, continues to spotlight what the community's doing and not just me flying through a valley. <laughs> All right, well, I definitely appreciate you checking in. Uh, check back next week. I will also have another episode this coming Sunday as well, although I won't tell you what. You'll just have to tune in and find out. <laughs>